This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. The Republican Party for a generation has railed on about their love of the troops, their love affair with military members and veterans. I don't know how many times I've been thanked by Republicans. I, I've got a, a, a couple of Marine Corps tattoos, one big one on my calf. And I'm, if I'm wearing shorts, uh, invariably someone will say, thank you for your service. And for years, it's been Republicans who really, really go out of their way to tell me how much they appreciate my years of service in the United States Marine Corps. It's all an act. Maybe, maybe your run-of-the-mill Republican voter really does feel some sense of duty and honor and respect for those of us who have served, donned the, milita- the, 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 the uniform of our country but not Republican leaders, not media figures, not the former president of the United States of America, who he himself is a multi-time coward, draft dodger, because of his little feet, he had some bone spurs. Welcome to the club, Donald Trump, the bone spur club. Didn't stop me from serving my country, Well, Donald Trump took to the stage this weekend at Turning Point USA's Student Action Summit, the open attempt to indoctrinate high school students and college students into Republican hate. And Donald Trump said something that any other time would have been viewed as disgusting, that this coward, this this draft dodger, explaining to the crowd that he wanted to give himself the Congressional Medal of Honor, but was told he couldn't. He says, look, I've always wanted one. He always wanted a Congressional Medal of Honor, but always also never wanted to do what it took to get one. You don't earn it, it is awarded you. The Congressional Medal of Honor The way I understand it, I don't know the exact numbers, but most times that it is awarded, it is because someone died in the line of duty protecting their fellow service members, diving on a grenade to save the platoon. And Donald Trump disgraces, disparages the memory of anybody who's gotten it by saying he wanted to give himself one because he's always wanted that. And the crowd goes wild. They love it. As he sits there and disparages the military and indeed the Congressional Medal of Honor, they cheer him. Watch this. In fact, as president, I wanted to give myself the Congressional Medal of Honor, but they wouldn't let me do it. They wouldn't let me do it. I said, I'm going to give myself the Congressional I've always wanted that. But they wouldn't let me do that. They said that would be inappropriate. I said, okay. But they laugh and they laugh. It is fake. Fake treatism is what it is. They act like they respect the sacrifices of military members, especially those. Look, uh, obviously, I was not a recipient of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Thankfully, I was never in a position like that. But I hold reverence for those who gave the ultimate sacrifice or showed uncanny bravery and courage and dedication to their their compatriots. It's not that way with Republicans. They're liars. Fatriots. It's false patriotism. Fake patriotism. Whether it be, whether it be Donald Trump and I like my heroes who aren't captured, or whining that he wanted the Congressional Medal of Honor, a joke or not? I mean, look, I'm not even going to analyze that. Or Tucker Carlson denigrating the service of Tammy Duckworth, who lost both her legs in combat, calling calling uh, Crenshaw, I patch McCain. 
Charlie Kirk talking about our military being weak and too woke or whatever. This is a cult of Donald Trump. This is a cult of white nationalism, of Christian nationalism. They have no reverence or regard for tradition, for our actual things that, 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 that point to patriotism, like military service. They don't care. It's whatever gets them to their end goal, which is the destruction of American democracy. A president wins an election by over 7 million votes. No matter. We will attack the United States Capitol to try to reinstall our guy. The same guy who denigrates literal war heroes, literal prisoners of war, who waxes hilarious about wanting to give himself the highest military honor. The, the, the Congressional Medal of Honor is such a high award that if the lowest ranking member of the military is wearing it, has it, has been awarded it, the highest ranking member, a four-star general, has to salute in the presence of a Congressional Medal of Honor worn by even a private. And Donald Trump, yuck, 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 I wanted to give myself one, I always wanted one of those. And they laugh and they laugh. patriotism on full display. And maybe more dangerously is the fact that this crowd of high school and college kids is being raised as though this is the way to be. People who came of age into politics uh, when like Donald Trump, when they were maybe in seventh grade, sixth grade when Donald Trump first took office. And then they, 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 they grew into high school and then went into college thinking that this is indeed a normal way to behave as a politician. To hug the flag. It's patriotism porn. It is masturbatory patriotism. Patriotism. It is dangerous, it is gross, it is fake, and it only serves to help them destroy America. And it's not hyperbolic to say so. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I would love to hear what you think about this. You can mix it up in the comments. That works too. Or you can yell at me on social media and tell me about what a patriot Donald Trump is. I am at dollamore on Twitter, at dollamore on TikTok, and at dollamore on Instagram. Uh, if you appreciate what I do, I would appreciate it if you would consider supporting my work right here on the platform. You can click the join button below this video, become a channel member for $1.99 a month, or you can click on over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are great ways to help support in the mission and the objective of this show, which I hope is to, in some small measure, help save American democracy. If you want to be a part of that, please support my work. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.